The other day I saw this video. I would really like a cold one right now. This should help. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. Have you been able to get the beverage machine to work yet? So today, dear viewer, we're making it happen. Also, as a bonus, we have a button. I figured this can be a Half-Life beer opener, and then this can be a portal button. It's roughly the right shape. As you can see, it's for dad jokes. Let's give them a listen, shall we? Why do crabs never give to charity? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> okay, number one's a bit rough. Did you hear about the bread factory burning down? They say the business is toast. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Cosmetic surgery used to be such a taboo subject. Now you can talk about Botox and nobody raises an eyebrow. <laughs> okay. Shout out to my grandma. That's the only way she can hear. <laughs> okay. Hey, Gordon. About that dad joke I owe ya. I think this is just like the same thing. I called my wife and asked her if I should pick up fish and chips on the way home from work. And she hung up. She's still angry she let me name the kids. <laughs> <laughs> why why does he laugh at the end? If there was like a laugh track, it wouldn't really sound as lonely. Okay, so we've got our dad joke button and beer opener. Actually, from now on, this is gonna be soft drink opener. And whenever I said beer, I just I I meant root beer. Don't demonetize me, please. But the idea is that we can take these apart. This one's gonna be a little harder to do because it's just smaller. But we'll take them apart, and then I got these. So this is a couple of audio amplifiers. So I don't know if we're gonna need an audio amplifier, because I didn't really know how the sound is gonna sound on the speaker uh, when I output a microcontroller. This is just a very, very small Raspberry Pi Pico. It's the same microcontroller that you've seen on the channel a few times. You can use this like a GameCube mod chip. Uh, I used one to make the operation game. I can shake the game, just like this. They're very useful. But I figured I can write some extraordinarily basic code on this to detect when you bridge the two metal pieces up here. And when it detects that, it will just play a stored sound file. Or a few. I want to actually do a few that you can cycle through. And this is tiny enough that it should fit in there. My other concern is that the batteries that power this thing might not be enough to power the microcontroller. So, we'll see. I'd hate to have to try to put a bigger battery in here, but, you know, we'll do what we gotta do. Get out of here. Go. Keep going. Keep it moving. Go. <laughs> Why are you just sitting here? Stop! Whoop. Yep. Super simple circuit. So we can take the brain out. I think that's like a CR2032, like BIOS battery type battery. And how many volts are those? That's three volts. That should work. We are probably going to end up draining the crap out of this battery though. Obviously you're not supposed to just run a microcontroller full time off of a tiny little battery like this. It's gonna, it does stuff in the background, like it's looping the program. So it's probably not gonna last all that long, but whatever. If there's room, maybe I can look at putting like a small lithium ion battery, but I don't, I don't like batteries. I don't. I do not know how to do them properly. I don't know how to do the charging circuits. Tony, please. But I guess we shall begin by just desoldering all the stuff. There goes the contacts, and there goes the speaker. I don't see any reason we can't just use pins 0, 1, 2, and 3 for this. 0 and 1 for the speaker, 2 and 3 for the button, and then ground and 3.3 volt over here for the power. Yeah, that should work. Alright, I was kind of wrong about that layout. So we're gonna have the button on pin one, the speaker on pin zero, and then the other half of the button's gonna be on ground, and then the other lead from the speaker is also gonna be on ground. Because that's how that's supposed to work. I think. I don't know. Only one way to find out. The first prototype of the code works. Listen to this. <laughs> I don't even think you can hear that. Okay, so clearly we are going to have to use one of those audio amplifiers, but that's fine. 
screw you, Seed Studio. I was uploading all the audio files and then it just stopped working. Very nice. But I have recreated the setup with a standard Pi Pico. I'll replace this with one of the smaller ones. I got more on order. I only had one of those because that is, is very likely not gonna fit in there. So I'll replace it with a smaller one later. But for now, this will do. I have the audio amplifier hooked up to the speaker and everything is connected and we'll flip it on. Oh, you hear that? All right, check this out. We're gonna make contact. <laughs> Another one. It works perfect. Okay, actually, it's not supposed to keep going. Um, not supposed to be doing that. Okay, well, that was weird. I'll fix that. And I'm running this off of the power supply right now. You can see, three volts. However, when I hook it up to the CR2032 battery, the voltage on this just drops instantly to like 1.3 volts, which is not gonna be enough to run this. So unfortunately, I am going to have to find another battery option. Not that I wish to imply that you have been vaping on the job. All right, this is where our battery's coming from. We just have to get to it. No one is more deserving of a boof. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the best way to take this thing apart is, but I'm just gonna heat the crap out of it because you're not supposed to take it apart. Gotta make sure we don't touch the demonetization liquid. Oh, one of the magnets came out. So can we then just... It's a little spooky because I don't know where the battery is and I don't want to like puncture it. There we go. Now it's coming and we made no progress. May this serve as a tutorial video to all of the poor children 300 years from now. that have to go into the landfills and dig these things up just to get the lithium out of them. We love single-use lithium-ion batteries. Oh, it's all floppy now. Oh, come on out, partner. Oh, oops. I ripped something. I think that's just the heating coil, though. Ew, this is disgusting. <laughs> Does it still work? We'll see. The problem is that I also want this type C port for charging because the battery's kind of coming out now, but not with the type C port. Oh, I saw smoke. Oh, it still works. <laughs> That's toxic. This is the heating coil right here. So I'm just going to get rid of that right now. Goodbye. There it is. It's a bit disgusting. Nothing we can't clean up though. This is a really compact package. This is exactly what I was hoping to use. I'm a little concerned that this thing is so drenched in the goop, blinking at me for some reason. Does the circuit board just like swim around in the vape juice? All right, here it is. The pearl from the inside of our mango oyster. It's all hooked up. And guess what? It will do. I also want these to look the part too. We're going for authenticity today. All right, proof of concept for the portal button. Done. It currently still makes Half-Life noises. Like right but that's fine, I can change that later. And the nice part about this is that it uses two AAA batteries. And I guess that's enough to run this thing. Here it is pretty much complete. I'm not even gonna bother trying to explain to you how everything is set up in here. You'll just have to take my word that it works. I'm gonna put all the screws back in this one and then finish up the button and then show you guys how they look. I only got one thing to say to you. Like a cold one right now. The Half-Life bottle opener has been faithfully recreated and sounds like hot dog shit. But to be fair, I don't think it would be authentic otherwise. Actually, there is one more final touch and it's a little Gordon sticker. There we go. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. 
Look at that. Look how authentic it is. My Gordon has lower legs and the rest of his shotgun. So, okay, maybe not completely authentic, but I would even say, uh, superior. Oh, you know what I did miss, though? I missed the little tiny Half-Life logo at the top. God damn it! Guess I have to make another one. But I have faithfully recreated all of the sounds. I would really like a cold one right now. And I even added one of my own that really should have been in the original. About that beer I owed you. And then we have the portal button. The button had a lower volume mode and a higher volume mode, and I was able to still integrate that part of the circuit. So we'll turn it on high volume. And I just included a couple of iconic noises from Portal. Fifteen hundred megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. You're doing very well. And my personal favorite. Fatty. Adopted. Fatty. Fatty fatty no parents. What a classic. But yeah, the button was way easier to make. There was just so much more room inside of this thing. At their cores though, they are pretty much the same thing. This has triple A's. This has a lithium ion battery from a vape. I think the speaker in this one is a little bit bigger physically. So it doesn't sound quite as overdriven as this one. Cause this one is like almost passable. This decreases the expected lifespan of my eardrums. And what would a bottle opener video be if I didn't play it on low battery? Okay, I've got it hooked up here to the variable power supply. We're gonna kind of be simulating a low battery mode. I mean, as much as I'd love to sit here and just open like 10,000 bottles with this thing to kill the battery, I don't exactly have time for that. So this should do. All right, this is 3.7 volts. In theory, this is just regular full battery. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it does that when you turn it on. Okay, there's your baseline for full battery. Now we're gonna take it down a little bit. Ooh, you can hear it whining kind of weird. Okay, this is 3.3 volts. I like a cold one right now. <laughs> it's kind of screeching a little bit. 2.8 volts. Okay, still kind of sounds fine. 2 volts. Oh, it's done. It's done at 2 volts. Oh, okay, we got to go up. 2.3 volts. Oh, that kind of sounds awful, but really not too bad. Okay, we're just gonna go back up. Now we're at like 3.5 volts. And I'm just gonna turn the voltage down as it plays. Here we go. About that beer I owed you. What the heck? Like a cold one right now. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, it gets kind of weird around 2.3. About that There we go. Hold on. <laughs> that one was completely unintelligible. <laughs> About that beer. 
Okay, well, it's not gonna get too goofy because the pie is always gonna get constant voltage and we can't really vary the voltage of the pie because it'll just immediately cut out and it won't do anything too goofy. But that wasn't too bad. It was something. All right, well, thank you for watching my build video of the Half-Life bottle opener. Oh, hold on, I gotta put it back together so I can open my Jones soda. About that beer I owed you. Thank you for watching. This is my second channel, by the way. My main channel is Bringus Studios. It's in the description, probably. Also, if you want some Gordons, I had to buy quite a few of those stickers. They're on sheets of eight. There'll be a link in the description to the Etsy store. I'll see you in the next one. Fatty, adopted, fatty, 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 no parents.